Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me Ken Steven. I just want to make a uh, video. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, it's 3 o'clock a.m. in the morning, let's see. Uh, I'm watching over Cindy, she's having a bad headache. Signs of aneurysm and uh, all the above, you know, stroke and stuff like that. Uh, the reason why we have to watch patients like this is because they are coming in, you see. And um, got her most of her by praying for her, but um, um, a lot of people praying for her anyway. But keep up prayers, you know. More the better, more the merrier, more the better anyway. Um, keep it on coming, and I'll do the progress report on what's going on. I think it's this tension, headache from high blood pressure mostly. After she gets some rest, maybe you'll probably calm down a lot. Probably start tension and if she rubs the temples for 15 or 20 minutes or something like that, usually helps the headache go away too. Also, suicide. Some medical, some medical or neurologist girl just told me that. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, I want to share a topic with you about medical. Remember that leaf I was telling you about? It's bothering me. That leaf is in unsolved mysteries, right? Okay. Remember how they put it in a stew? Okay, they never could figure out, the lady could never figure out how they poisoned the family, right? And now it just came to my memory. It hit me like a bolt of lightning. Okay, I'm set, setting up here. I'm perked up. So I'm perked up right now. I'm on Percocets. And uh, it hit me like bolts of lightning. So I'm thinking faster. Okay, and now I know what, exactly what it was. Okay, guess what it was, guys? You're not going to believe it. Tobacco poisoning. Get that. Tobacco poisoning. Tobacco. Of all things, a tobacco leaf. Guys. Yes, I did say tobacco. Tobacco used in a stew. Can you get that, guys? Made everybody deathly ill and sick. Died about with kidney failure and all kinds of other than failure. Amazing, huh? One little leaf, what it can do to a, a whole family up in the stew pot. Because it's hot. I mean, that rhymes too. But it's like tea. When you mix things with a lot of things with tea, your medicine and stuff, a lot of people don't know this stuff. You can mix Percocets with tea. Get more, it works faster and it works better with the hot tea. Believe it or not. There's a lot of secrets out there we don't know about. People don't know about these secrets until you reveal it. The knowledge of people, the knowledgeable people, the professional people that know the stuff, they're not really supposed to be telling the people how to do this stuff, but they learn it. Eventually, they'll do look up on Google. Okay? They learn. Okay? But I just wanted to share that information with you. It was just, um, you know, amazing. Tobacco. Tobacco leaf. And uh, started got thinking, sitting, thinking about you know Cindy because of her headache and everything. It hit me like a bolt of lightning. I want to go ahead and for everybody's praying out there right now. Thank you. Roxy's working on a few things right now. Those a couple of rude girls that she's working on right now, getting taking care of their asses right now. She's um, working on them. Uh, telling them how disrespectful and how rude they were because they're they're I think they're childish so it's not worth the time you know I just basically tell Roxy not even to worry about even to add them I ain't trying to you know what I'm saying she wanted she was willing to she wanted to so she asked me for the CC cleaner and everything so she could do her phone and everything and clean out her phone so she just go clean out real good so she could tell you know tell them off basically in a bad way 
Yeah, I don't like to say the words because there's too many kids around. If I say the words, I might get trouble, okay? Because what, what I want to say is exactly what, what she wants to say. So it's the B word, okay? You know what I'm talking about. Itches. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. No, I didn't say the word. I said itches. You figure out the rest. Okay, anyway, that's what the scenario is. And if this headache is not gone by tomorrow or by later soon, you're going to go to a hospital and get diagnosed. And we're going to get all of her back x rayed. We're going to get an MRI scan. That's what I'm order. I'm going to order an MRI scan like a doctor does. I'm going to tell the doctor to order an MRI scan, okay? Okay, and I want him to order also a cervical scan, okay? I think it's very important to order a cervical scan because not only the lumbar, lumbar region is important where the legs are, but to where your neck and your nerves connect to where the headache is starting, guys. You got nerves in there. You see, I'm not no neurologist, but I have a lot of common sense, guys. Think, 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 think. If it can't, if it's not blood pressure and it's not aneurysms. And okay, I was reading about that because funny how I mean it's not really funny, but I'm just saying funny how Nancy brings it up about aneurysms, and then all of a sudden she gets a head bad headache, symptoms of an aneurysm. Which is, I'm, I have to, you know, watch her over, make sure she's still breathing. Okay, I'm worried. Sick. Okay, I'm perked up. Like I told you, I'm perked up. Woke up. Watching her. I'll try to get relaxed, get me a couple hours sleep if I can. But I'll, have to, I'll think about it. But, um, thank you, uh, Facebook fellas out there every one of you have been very polite except for a couple girls like i told you this Tessie girl and this other one it's not worth talking about but anyway you know who you are out there you guys are so polite you guys really are tight and you, it feels just right thank you very much i appreciate everything every word that you say it helps it gives us a spiritual intuition here. It gives a spiritual awakening. Okay? You were a great help to Cindy and I. I said both of us. Cindy and I. If it wasn't for you Facebook people, we would die. Okay? With God, we would die. Okay? That's how I believe. Because faith Hills. Get it, Faith Hill? <laughs> there is a Faith Hill. Okay, anyway, it's a different kind of hill. <laughs> Another hill to climb. Anyway, God, <laughs> I have to look that one up later on. Um, that's a good one. The player song of the hits. Anyway, God bless you guys, and I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to top this off, and so I'm going to have to do some uh, recreation of editing. Um, not editing, but I'm going to have to do some uh, filling the blanks on this video so I can get a rolling for you guys. I appreciate it. I do want uh, to her to get more studies done from cervical to lumbar, sacral spine, all the way down. Yeah, sacral is important. Lumbar, uh, cervical, sacral regions. L C the L L's the S's the C's all the way down all the way up. It's all checked out. You see what I'm saying? The S's S one was of course was bulging out. There might be an S there might be something else bulging out for all I know. I don't want anything negative. We have spurs. There is some spurs that's growing up around spurs or bones that grow in your back in the back in your back or your feet they are bones that grow up upon bones 
Splendid Dot Ads. I just, I mean, there's fancy names. Uh, there's fancy names to it. I have to go into it. I have to read it to you guys. Next time I'll get more information on it for you. I'll write right down here. Okay, I gotta go, guys. I got, got, got to try to lay down a little bit, not a little bit for a while, and uh, I'm gonna do some more reading and uh, learn some more stuff. So, God bless. I'm gonna check the ratings and see what Roxy's saying to him. Don't get in trouble. Um, they're just forget about those girls. They're not worth it. Okay, they're just childish. You know, how, you know how people are. They don't have no heart. But, uh, anyway, take care. I'm going to let you guys go. It's been over time, over 10 minutes. Oh, one more, add more than one thing. My brother called today. My good brother from, he's in Vietnam. He served some time in Vietnam. Uh, my brother Wayne, he called today. The good brother, not the bad brother, the one that's pissed me off. The one that wanted to come out here and borrow money off of mama, you see, our mama, and use her for jewelry. <laughs> Long story. That's a good job, too, if it works for the city. I mean, not way. I'm talking about the one that's going to rob. I mean, take everything my mom's got. You know, it's stupid. It's too stupid. I mean, it just don't make sense. It's mostly the wife. Okay, I'll just tell you the truth, guys. The wife is a gold digger. Okay, I swear to God, she wears the pants in the family. Okay, now Wayne, I'll go back to Wayne. He called. He's doing pretty good, except for his leg. He's taking some pill now, so so he's got to take a pill on that. Uh, keep gangrene from the. Um, Setting in a hundred and thirty six dollars a pill. What do you think? Mantabiotics, pretty damn strong pills. You talk like ro strong as rosepin. Yeah, that's pretty strong. You gotta take, make sure you take the right. You can't keep on depending on these pills all the time either because you can't depend on antibiotics. Because what happens to your body. It builds up that tolerance just like it does with narcotics. Narcotics do not cause MRSA. Not that I know of. Okay. Now, if you get narcotics, I mean, not, not narcotics. You get antibiotics, Keflex, Cephalexin, Keflex, you know, all the above, Leviquin, you know, all the full fashion, Ciprofloxin, Cipro. Loxamycin, Cendamycin, Lendamycin, you know, all the above, you know. You can know all there. Oh, Clamycin, Cleosin, so many of them I can name. Fibromycin, you know. They all converged after a while, you know. Well, Cephalexin, this Cephalex, 500 milligrams. But anyway, I was going to cap it all off right here. I do have a lot of knowledge, guys. I know I'm shocked. But um, I want to let you all know that I do care about every one of you guys, and thank you for what you're doing. And um, I want to let you know about that thing that, to, um, yeah, it was tobacco. It's out of the stew. So next time, if somebody thinks about using that leaf as tobacco, do not use a leaf and stew. Very toxic. It kill you. Kill your family. Do not use it. Please don't use it. Poisoning. Okay. Because of heat. Combustion. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go now. God bless you guys. Thank you for your time. And I will see you all later on. It's just fly arms off. Okay, um, summer's hot weather out here in California lately. Um, we had a good feast. We had a good Thanksgiving turkey. We had mashed potatoes and gravy. Filled ourselves up fat. I'm <laughs> kidding. Gained a few pounds. I did. I think I about hit a. I think I weighed about 182 pounds. 
probably. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Okay, later. God bless. Love y'all. I'll see you on Facebook. Take care. Pack a leaf. Guys. Yes, I did say tobacco. Tobacco used in a stew. Can you get that, guys? Made everybody deathly ill and sick. To die, to drought, with kidney failure and all kinds of other failure. Amazing, huh? One little leaf, what it can do to a, a whole family up in the stew pot. Because it's hot. I mean, it rhymes too. But it's like tea. When Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Ken Steven. I just want to make a uh, video. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, it's 3 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Let's see. Uh, I'm watching you know, Cindy. She's having a bad headache. Signs of mannerism and uh, all the above, you know, stroke and stuff like that. Uh, the reason why we have to watch patients like this is because they are coming in, you see. And uh, God, ever most of it by praying for her. But um, um, a lot of people praying for her anyway. Keep up prayers, you know, more the better, more the merrier, more the better, anyway. Um, keep them on coming, and I'll um, keep progress report on what's going on. I think it's this tension headache from high blood pressure, mostly. After she gets some rest, maybe it'll probably calm down a lot. It'll probably start tension, and if she rubs the temples for 15 or 20 minutes or something like that, usually helps the headache go away to also suicide. Some medical some medical or neurologist girl just told me that. Okay, anyway, um I want to share a topic with you about medical. Remember that leaf I was telling you about? It's bothering me. That leaf it's in unsolved mysteries, right? Okay. Remember how they put it in a stew? Okay, they never could figure out, the lady could never figure out how they poisoned the family, right? And now it just came in my memory. It hit me like a bolt of lightning. Okay, I'm set, setting up here. I'm perked up. I'm perked up right now. I'm on Percocets. And uh, it hit me like a bolt of lightning. Because I'm thinking faster. Okay, and now I know what, exactly what it was. Okay, guess what it was, guys? You're not gonna believe it. Tobacco poisoning. Get that. Tobacco poisoning. Tobacco. Of all things, it's a